Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of synchronization in a distributed web systems, guys. So the sorry, so the first thing that you should understand in websites is that we will not be having many servers, right? Or many members who will be updating the data. So here in a in a synchronization in web servers, web based distributed systems so there is no much a requirement of synchronization guys because only one or two users will be updating the things and all those things okay so let us go through the theory that's what i have written here guys synchronization has not been much of an issue in most traditional web server systems for two reasons so the first reason is that a strict client server organization of the web in which the server never exchanges information okay information from other servers or clients okay which means that there is a no need of any re any synchronization okay by just that concept only you can say that there is no need of any synchronization similarly most of the web servers or websites are only in a read only mode guys so you can only read them you cannot do any kind of manipulations or updations so updations are done mostly by a single person or an entity or a group of persons and hardly we will be facing right right conflicts guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this Okay, so in the next lecture, we will be discussing about consistency and replication, guys. So in consistency, we will be discussing about web proxies, guys, which are really important with proxy caching. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about it. Okay, so let us meet. Thank you. Thanks for watching.